Hello. Mr. Smiley. Yes. Mr. Smiley, good afternoon. It's Charles Eldersley yeah. from Matthewson and McNeil. Uh-huh. I represent Mr. Andrew Cameron. Who? Mr. Andrew Cameron. Who's that? Mr. Smiley, I have to tell you that I'm calling regarding a rather unsavoury incident within Ibrook Stadium on Saturday. What unsavoury incident is that? Well, I shall read you a statement. It's alleged that you were verbally abusive to my client in front of witnesses in the member's suite, uh-huh. and that you had to be physically restrained and would have caused actual bodily harm had security not intervened. Uh-huh. Now, I spoke to Mr. Mackin... Why do we have to Is this a fucking joke? I beg your pardon. Is this a joke? Mr. Smiley, I've spoken to Mr. McIntyre this morning. I'm going to tell you something, Paul. I don't know who the fuck you are. But if you're talking about assaulting, Andy Cameron's assaulted my fucking ears for years. And I don't go and get fucking lawyers to go and think with him. So go and take a good fuck to yourself, do you hear me? Will you listen to what I have to say, please? I'm listening to you, on you go. I would tell you that it's in your own best interests to hear me out, Mr. Aye. Smiley. Aye. Now, I've spoken to Mr. McIntyre this morning. Who's McIntyre? The head of security at Ibrox. Aye. He's refusing to comment. He's refusing to comment, aye, because he's too fucking stupid. That's fucking how. Listen, see if you've got anything to fucking say. If you, if you want to say, you tell me to fucking phone me yourself. My client is, me? is seeking assurance from you, Mr. Smiley, aye. that there will be no repercussions of Saturday's events. No repercussions what? No repercussions of Listen, Saturday's Paul, events. I'm, I'm, I'm a thick cunt for East End of Glasgow. You have a reputation. You'll need to stop the big fucking words to me. You have a reputation. Stop, stop fucking English. You have a reputation as a short-tempered individual. Aye. You're proving that now Aye. on the other end of this phone. Aye. Now, my client has been unable to sleep since the weekend's events. That's fucking good. That's good. I've not been slept for years listening to these fucking jokes. No, you hear I, me? Mr. Smiley, Aye. I have obtained an exclusion order uh-huh. prohibiting you from going within 40-foot radius of my client. Aye. Now, I will serve this if I do not have your full cooperation. you <laughs> You'll serve it. Listen, pal, I would love to see you come here to fucking serve me with anything. And that other fucking crackpot you're representing, do you hear me? You fucking screwball, you. Now, my client insists on a full written apology from you. Aye. And Listen, I told you I'm a thick cunt for East End of Glasgow. I can't fucking write. I can do a couple of crosses. If you want a couple of X's, I can do them. That's all I can fucking do. Well, you'll understand if the procurator official gets involved then. Aye. That's or, or is that too big a word for you as well? Procurator and fiscal, I have plenty of letters that are at the top. Is that what, what does that mean? I used to get a lot of letters. I got one a week through that says that at the top, but I could never understand the fucking thing. Would you like us to involve the police, Mr. Smiley? You could do that if you fucking like. Listen, do that if you like. I could do with a fucking rest, to be quite honest with you. Well, it would be a lot easier if you apologised to my client. I, I listen, I'll tell you what I'll be apologising for. I'll be apologising for fucking nothing. You hear me? Now, do I have your assurance that you're not going to take this any further? Assurance? Say that you're very big words again. What's that, what does that mean? Is that, is that what you go when you pay your fucking, your, to get your house? Is that what you do when you pay your house? No, that's... So nobody steals nothing out of it? No, that's insurance. Is it? You really are not a very well-educated man, are you, you're Mr. You're fucking Smiley? right, I'm as thick as fuck, by the way. Now, the next I'm time... I'm thick of my, by the way, I'm a multi-fucking millionaire. That's how fucking thick of my, what are you, you cunt? Now, yeah. now the next time... You go to Ibrox. I wish you not to pursue my client. Who is your client? Mr. Smiley, you know who my client is. No, oh, tell me who your client is. I don't know who the fuck your client is. Mr. Andrew Cameron. Is this, is this a comedian, Andrew Cameron? I uh, take it you're a double act. You're fucking sidekick. Andy Cameron. Aye. You're sidekick. You're in the pavilion, you know? I'll be a time off in the back in the session. I'm looking for a full written apology. Listen, for- I tell you before, I can't write. I'm a thick cunt for East End. But if you want anything else, just... Well, listen, why don't day? you get your secretary, if you dictated, would she Aye, manage no, to run out listen, the copy? I'll tell you going to do me a favour, going to come in and see me. And would like a full... And I'll show you how I write something down. A full verbal apology to be played Aye. before the match on Saturday. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. You're nearly as big a comedian as your fucking client. My client, Mr Cameron, Aye. will approach you with a microphone. He'll approach me with a microphone. Listen, I'm going to fucking tell you something. He's well approached me with that because he's fucking deepened me for fucking years. Now, I'll write down what I want you to say. Aye. Will you? Yes. Aye. But listen, I'm going to tell you something. I don't, I can't even mind your name, who the fuck you represent. And I couldn't really give a fuck, to be honest with you. But I've spent enough fucking time talking to you. 
I need to go and try and earn some fucking money now. Well, I'll see you later. Bye bye. It'll be a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Mr. Smiley. Yes. Yes, it's Charles Eldersley again. I think we got cut off. Well, no, you didn't get cut off. Listen, I'll tell you what you are. You better get off the fucking phone and I'll be phoning the police. You're a, you are you a sex fucking pest or something? No. Eh? Mr. Smiley. You're a fucking crackpot. I've got... Hello. Yeah, I'm not going to go away, Mr. Smiley. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. Well, I'm all ears. You tell me. You're a fucking crank. No, Mr. Smiley, could we have yeah, maybe I once... Don't know. Could we have... Mr. Smiley. Listen, pal. Yeah, Mr. Smiley. I'm going to tell you something. You're a fucking crank. Well, do you know your mate Alan at Homestyle says you're the crank? Away you go, you cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, it's Robin Galloway at the Real Radio Breakfast Show. You're fucking kidding. Listen, this is not on the radio. Is this a wind up? Have you not recorded? This is not recorded, no. Can't have recorded. Well, it's a good job it's not fucking live. You're fucking right, it's not. <laughs> Bastard up. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I'm going to tell you something. I'm glad it was fucking Monday. You got me no Friday. You got me my good side, man. I'm usually quite calm on a Monday. <laughs> different class. Ah, you're a different. You're, he, he said you'd be good. Right. <laughs>